video in equal parts disgusts and delights me. It, I mean, it's fucking hilarious, but it, it's horrifyingly accurate. Kudos to you, Dianne, for catching the horror that is domestic lesbians. It's just scary. Like, why are lesbians so predictable? Um, like, all those things, pretty much. I, I, I just, like, yeah. If there was a checklist, that shit's getting ticked off. I spent a, a very high proportion of my mid-twenties in Ikea. Turning Allen keys makes me feel in control. It really does. The friends with the exes thing. It, it's just, um, that's just one of my vices. You know, there's just like a whole little social circle of them. Each birthday usually has around about two in attendance. Um, they're generally friends with each other and with me. I'm friends with their new girlfriends as well. Or boyfriends, in your case, Hayley. I will try harder. I will make fresh hummus. I made a lot of fresh hummus in my time. Not so much recently. Maybe it's because I'm single. And in my next relationship, everything is going to be different. I won't build fixie bikes. I quite enjoy being on the other side of it now, just sort of sitting and observing and uh, feeling weirdly superior and then going home to my cat. I'm now becoming the stereotypical single lesbian with the cat. I haven't started signing my greeting cards from Sarah and Betty with a little paw print yet. But you know, it's early days. Uh, I've only had her a few months, so um, give it time. We'll be making our own Christmas card soon. Just a picture of me and Betty uh, wearing a little hat. I need to stop talking about my cat. But hey, if you're in a happy lesbian relationship, then good for you. Um, some of my best friends are my ex-girlfriend and her new girlfriend happy but man shit's scary <laughs>